Got the sun plane, the long way, the short way, the side place, the side place. That stuff off the side, my little Marvin Gaye and Chardonnay. When I first met Ronnie Dawson, she was coming out of a really serious situation, I think, when she was living with her mom down south and she came up here to something brand new and she didn't have any friends, it was being picked on a lot. And I kind of felt early on that there were some things going on with her internally that was probably a lot bigger than she could even really conceptualize and that she was struggling in some way. I just kind of felt like she could use this program a lot. She started off a little tough. We kind of heard her name more. It was like, we're having struggles, we're having struggles. When she first got here, she had a little bit of an attitude in that she would kind of fly off the handle very quickly and took a lot of offense when people said something to her. She really started to change when her father came into the picture. A day can seem like a year when you're worried about your child. I got five sons. Boys are really, you know, easy. And Monty is like, for me, it's tough. Her father had come to see her play squash. I had to kind of talk to him about some concerns that I had. And after the two of us talking about some of the things that we were noticing, he realized, you know, he could be in her life even more. It's because of that that she started to kind of step up a little bit more and realize, oh, my dad is here and he cares and he's going to be around. Hearing him say that he wants to come see what I'm doing and check my grades and watch me play squash, it just makes me want to accomplish more. When I get on the court, it's, it's a whole nother ball game. Like, every day when I go home, my pants feel a little bit looser and my shirt's looser. Like, it makes me, it makes me so proud to know that I'm actually doing something and it's working. It's a big deal, you know, it's a big deal. I can show you pictures from last year to this year. You know, she's lost about 15, maybe 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. And she's more active and she's feeling better about herself. At first I couldn't, I, I didn't run. Like the ball would be right here and I'd see it right here. And I didn't try to hit the ball or nothing. tries hard, she runs after the balls, she's chasing them down, she doesn't give up on it, she doesn't think she's not fast enough to get there. It's been really exciting. Because of that, you can tell she's starting to feel really good about herself, and it's continually going. She cares about it, she wants to improve, and I know that she's going to keep going. Within a number of months, she has become um, truly active in the sport. She has a great spirit. She has such awesome potential um, to bring her peers, to be a team player, to get actively involved. She's not afraid to move around, to exercise, and saying, you know what, I need to take my academics seriously beyond what's easy for me and what I like. Even just physically, you could see she was happier, she was lighter, she was taking care of herself more. I think that street squash is what pushed her in that direction. Defending those African means um, defending something even if you don't believe in it. Perfect. I like that. So if we were having a debate right now, I, I was hanging out with some kids who weren't doing anything with their lives. They they were smoking, cutting school, and all of that. When I come to Street Squash, it's kids here who are looking forward to college, who want to do something with their lives. They're not smoking. They they going to school, doing everything they have to do. You know, it's been a long while since. I've seen her this motivated or this happy about something that had directly to do with her. The best thing is that she sees the difference. And you know, your self-image is what's most important. You know, how you see yourself can really change the way how people see you. The difference in Street Squash is that she was headed down the wrong way. And now she has an opportunity mm -hmm. to get it right. <laughs>